In this corner, from Walla Walla, Washington, the defending champion of soil test in the lawn care community, in orange trunks, Soil Savvy. And in this corner, our challenger from Roanoke, Virginia today, the up and coming in white trunks, Think Soil. One thing I like to do before I put down any fertilizer for the year is I'm going to take a baseline soil test. And this year, unlike last year, last year I tried three different kits, three different tests. Two of them you can do at home and get instant results, and one of them you mail away, and that is Soil Savvy. This year I'm going to use Soil Savvy and I'm going to test it against the Think Soil, which are these two are both available on Amazon and I'm gonna see what, what the different results are. I also made an investment in a soil probe because I really had a hard time last year <laughs> getting the soil out of the ground. It just cost about $50, but if you're gonna do soil samples quite a bit and you wanna do it from various different parts of your yard, this is the best way to do it. Boy, that was easy. All right, normally I don't need that much, but uh, I do have two tests that I'm doing. So two soil tests, soil savvy versus think soil. Now I've done soil savvy before, I've never done think soil. So this one goes to Virginia. So I can definitely say soil savvy spends more on their packaging and certainly more on their shipping too, I'm sure. All right, so looking at the two kits, they both come with a return mailer. This one is a uh, bubble wrap from uh, soil savvy because this is a container that's going to go in there with the soil in it. The Think Soil comes with a baggie. You just have to fill up the baggie and send that into with their return mailer. This one goes to Richmond, Virginia. One of the differences that I've seen is there's less soil goes in here into the soil savvy. However, it's got some liquid in the bottom of it. And uh, it comes with a scoop. They just want one scoop of the soil. This one wants you to fill it to the bottom of the dotted line. One other thing that you should know is that there is a card that you fill out with Soil Savvy and you place the barcode here. This is the barcode. You're going to put that barcode here. You save the bottom half of this card. The top half gets sent back with this. They will send you a, an email when your sample is done, when your report is done. This one, however, the sample number is already put in the label here and here. You have to check back with them at their website and enter that ID to, uh, to get your report. And I guess you just have to keep on checking it every so often. And that's how you get your results from them. So I'm eager to see how the results differ too and what the report looks like. So before I go any further, let me take this barcode. But now for Soil Savvy. All you have to do is take a scoop of soil. And it is best to try and take as much of the organic matter out as possible. And I did mix this up really well too, so. That's it, put the scoop in. Put that in fill out this card and that's going to go in there too. I'm going to save this card. For Think Soil, just going to fill up the bag. I'd say that's pretty good, but that's an awful lot more soil. And this is the front lawn. All right, that's gonna go in their mailer. Okay, two soil samples, 
to two different companies. I must say, I think Soils is much heavier. If you need shade on your deck or patio this summer, check out Toya Grid Pergola Kits. You source the lumber locally and can assemble this modular system in as little as 30 minutes. Check the video description for links to videos and more information about Toya Grid. So those two tests were picked up by my mailman on a Monday and on Friday I got this email back from Soil Savvy. And it gave me my barcode number here and it gave me a link and uh, this link didn't work <laughs> and this link over here took me to this the number in here even though it's underlined you'd think that would be a link that would get me to my report but it didn't and this one over here I don't even know what this is that doesn't work either so I don't know what's going on with soil savvy but anyway uh 21228 so if you come in here and you say get your report and you put in Two, one, two, two, eight. That is what brings you to the Soil Savvy Analysis Report. Okay, so this was drawn on March 30th. And like I said, now this is what, uh, what you get from Soil Savvy. And I've used these before. They're really pretty good. Okay, the first three here, you have your N, P, and K. Nitrogen is always going to be low because that's the one that your, your grass uses the most. P is always going to be high if you're using a biosolid fertilizer like melorganite or ocean grow or something like that because they have phosphorus in them. Um, K is potassium. I've got uh, good potassium this year. And my iron is a little bit low. My boron is a little bit low. And my pH is just underneath the green section, but much better than it was last year. And here, what Soil Savvy is telling me to do is what to apply right now for my lawn. And they're basically just saying, apply nitrogen. Everything else looks good. That's it. That's Soil Savvy. Oh, one thing I should say, if you just, you can print it directly from here and you get that uh, barcode, everything prints exactly as it looks on the screen. Now, after I got this notification from Soil Savvy, that reminded me to go over and check on my Think Soil report. Now, this is the Think Soil website, and like I said, you had to check and make sure that uh, if your test is ready. So, if you scroll down here, you can put in 000654, and you guys can do this. You'll see my exact results. And this is what you get with Think Soil. It's a bit of a different approach. It starts with a little bit of a video that I watched. Welcome back to Think Soil. So you bought a soil test from us, and now that you have the results, you need to figure out what you need to do to improve the health of your soil. So I'm not going to replay that whole thing here, but they give you a little bit of a, a video that shows you what you're going to see in the soil test. Um, it tells you to pick what your grass growing type is, whether it's warm season or cool season, and enter in the total square footage of your yard. Now, when you come down, this part here I really like. This part that says prescription solutions in pounds per thousand square feet. So it's telling me that I should put down 4 pounds of nitrogen annually, 50 pounds of lime annually, no phosphorus is needed, which of course you saw the soil savvy test, it's high. Potassium, one pound annually. Uh, no calcium is needed, but micronutrients are needed. So that's, um, I, I like this. I'm going to skip the next section for a moment. Now we scroll down to this My Soil Test results, and you can see it's color coded. So they have red is very low, then there's all the way up to dark green is optimal, and light green is very high so here you can see my ph is in the medium area which is a little bit low so that's consistent then there's this uh om stands for organic matter you can see when i mouse over it it tells you right here what it is so that's organic matter they say that's a little bit low but i don't know how exactly to fix that same thing with capacity to retain nutrients the cec it's telling me here that my CEC is 6.1 and it should be 11 to 16. I have no idea what that means. That must be proprietary to them, but they don't really explain what it means. 
All right, another editor's note. I did a quick Google search while I was editing this, and I came across this definition. CEC is Cation Exchange Capacity. It is not specific to Think Soil. It is an industry standard, evidently. It is a calculated value that's an estimate of the soil's ability to attract, retain, and exchange cation elements. I still don't know how to adjust it, but I'm learning. But that's the definition. So that's this one. That's low. Phosphorus is high. Potassium is medium. So P and K are consistent with what they were at the soil savvy test as well. But notice there isn't even a nitrogen test. There's no N listed here in the think soil. I found that interesting. One difference here is that they say my iron is actually very high. Over in soil savvy, it was telling me my iron is very low. So that's something that was interesting to me. And it's saying copper is very high as well and boron is low. And if you scroll down, it gives you the scientific analysis of all of these tests as well. Okay, now let's go back to this part in the middle here where it says my turf and garden. I'm not crazy about this. This kind of shows you like a storefront. And it's basically saying you can change this, like let's say I change this to, uh, I don't know if I change this to, that I have 25,000 square feet. It changes some of these products. So it knows the products, it knows how many bags that I need. It's also giving me, um, telling me when to apply it. So it's basically giving me a prescription as they put it, okay? They're basically saying buy this stuff. Now the only problem is it looks like a storefront. I can change the quantities, it shows me prices. I can't click and get any, I'm trying to click right here. I can't get any further information about any of these other than it does tell you how to apply it and what it's recommended for. It does say to apply anytime it's spring, anytime fall, here's anytime summer, early fall, you know, all these things. But it's not really a storefront. There's no option here to say purchase. So that was kind of, I'm like, hmm, what am I gonna do? I think maybe this is a work in progress and maybe they're gonna improve it over time. Okay, I do have to put in a little bit of a footnote disclaimer here. Uh, as I was editing this video, it was just bugging the heck out of me that there's no add to cart here. And what I realized is that if I scroll it to the left, there's the add to cart button. And so if I click it, it added to the cart. And then I could go to checkout and there's all the products that we're talking about. Now, I don't know, I didn't go through the whole process. I'd have to create an account, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I was incorrect in the way that I was um, talking about this. However, from my gut, when I walked in here to begin with, I mean, come on, you would probably say the same thing. Where the heck is the add to cart? Where is the, how can I buy this stuff? Because it's hidden. That's really not a good web page, the way this is organized. Okay, end of note. But the other thing that annoyed me about Think Soil was when you go to print it, you can say view it as a PDF, for example you get something that's totally different than what you saw on the screen. Again, it's showing you the soil recommendations and how many products to buy. And then the soil test results are giving you numbers and just simply color-coded high, medium, low. Like, where's the, where's the fancy chart? You know, I want to see this. I want to be able to print this. So I thought, all right, well, no big deal. If I go here and I say print... I could just print the web page, right? Well, no, you really can't. It doesn't show up properly. So that's not gonna help me. I would have to do a screenshot if I wanted to, uh, to actually see this and save it. So that was a little bit of annoying too. So what I, I like this, I like the prescription solution, which tells you what you need for the year, and then you can decide how much to put down. But the four pounds of nitrogen that's actually a little higher than what New Jersey allows, but uh, I do appreciate that they put that in there and the one pound of potassium. I, I do like that. So I think this is really a good start, Think Soil. Oh, and one other thing that I did want to say is that I bought these tests on Amazon. Soil Savvy was $29.95 and Think Soil was $39.95. Do I think it's worth $10 more? No. But if you go to their website, they sell them on their website for $29.95 each. So 
I would much rather buy them here than buy them on Amazon. I don't know why they're marking up the price by $10 on Amazon. That, my friends, is not good business. So effectively, they're both the same price. So for my money, I still prefer Soil Savvy. I think it's a more robust product. I also, I got to be honest, I do like the packaging. It looks really nice too. But as far as the uh, the test itself, I think it is a little bit more understandable. And, uh, and it tells me what to do with my soil now, which I do appreciate. So which one do you like best? Have you tried either one of them? Or do you do any testing at home? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.